We'll guide you through how to make and create a Minecraft server for free. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. A Minecraft server can be really cool as you can then go and play with other players. You can go and create a world together. So we're going to guide you through how it can be done. Now what you need to do is go and open up a web browser just like so. And then what you need to do is go and search for Minecraft server file like so. And you want to go to the top to Minecraft server download. Here we are. So with this guide, we're going to be downloading and running the server on our computer. This means for the server to be online, your computer needs to be running it, which isn't always ideal as you probably want to shut off your computer and not always be using your computer's resources. So alternatively, you can go and check out the sponsor of today's video, Apex Hosting. There'll be a link down below in the pinned comment and the description. And at the moment, you can get a discount as well. They've got so many awesome features like instant setup, whereas in this guide, you're going to have to go and set it up and install it. 24 seven servers and support. So you can get 24 seven live chat assistance for your always online server, as well as many other awesome features as well. So if you're interested, go and check out the link down below. A big thanks to them for sponsoring the video. But to continue with making and creating the server on your computer, go and click on the download button like so, and it's going to go and download. Now, what you need to do is go and open up your file explorer. Come to downloads and you should go and see the downloaded file here. Now, what you want to do is come onto your desktop as well. Right click in some blank space and hover over new and press folder. And we're going to go and give this a name. I'm going to name it MC server like so. Then what you want to do is go and drag and drop the server.jar file into it like this. Now you can close your downloads folder and you can open up the folder we just made. Now what we need to do is go and run this here. So you want to go and double click on it like so. Then you should see folders begin to go and populate the folder. Now if they don't, maybe nothing happens when you run it or something else opens up, maybe a file or something like that. This is because you don't have Java installed. So what you need to do is go and open a web browser and you need to go and go to java.com. Here we are and then what you want to do is click on download Java for desktops and you can go and download it, then go and install it. After you've done that, you need to return to server.jar in the folder, right click, hover over open with, and you can click choose another app. You want to go and select Java and go and click always, and it should then go and run and it should be successful. If it still isn't working, then you want to come and return to the Java site and you want to go and find the option for developer downloads in the bottom right here. And what we need to do is go and get Java SE Development Kit, also known as JDK. Personally, I use JDK 21, so you can go and click there and you can scroll down and select Windows and you want to go and get the installer. Download it and install it. Then what you want to do is try running the server.jar again and that should hopefully fix it. Now that you've got it working, you want to go and open up the eula.txt when it's been generated and you need to go and read and agree to the eula here, basically sort of the terms. I already have, and then once you do, you can go and change the false to true, like so. Press file, and you can go and press save, like so. And what you can then do is close this, and you need to go and run server.jar again as it's still generating and setting up the server. You should go and get this pop-up, and you're gonna go and see what's going on here. It can now go and be joined, but just before we do that, I'm gonna go and close it. So I'll just go and close it like so. If you want to go and edit the world settings, you need to come to server.properties, right click on it, and you can hover over open with, and you can select notepad. Now you can go through here and adjust these different settings. For example, we've got the game mode here. So I changed that to creative from survival if I want it to be creative. And there are other settings as well. For these to go and then be used over settings, you need to go and close the server and start it again. So let me go and run this again, and the server is going to go and start. So every time you want to start the server, you come into this folder and you run server.jar. Click on multiplayer like so, and you want to go to the bottom and click add server. Now you want to go and click on server address. Now for you to go and join it, because you're hosting on your computer, what you can do is go and type in local host like so. Others won't be able to do this, this is just for you. Press done, and as you can see, there it is, a Minecraft server. We can then press join server, and we've now successfully gone and joined it. If I go and open up the console, you'll go and see guide run videos has gone and joined the game. So now you're probably wondering, how can I get other people to join? To do that, you need to do something called port forwarding. You can do it in your router, or we've got another alternative way, which I made a video on, which you can go and check out. And there's an application we can use to go and make the server available for others. And other people can then go and join it and we can start building our community.